Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. And I have a tough time with these guys pushing stuff on us that doesn't really apply to them. It's the same thing, problem we have with healthcare, same problem we have with taxes, same problem we have with gun laws. Guys who have people surrounding them with machine guns, okay, Um, and also impunity, also impunity. What happened at the Capitol, that that, um, Capitol police officer that shot the... Murdered. uh, the Air Murdered Force. That woman. Yeah, there's, there's going to be there's going to be no charges filed against that guy. And what happened today in the courtroom? Um, well, today, uh, what's his name? Um, Chauvin. Somebody got somebody got somebody got convicted of murder, right? Yes. Um, A police that, officer. That's even that's questionable. That person at the Capitol shot that woman point blank. I in think that was murder. Yeah, I think that the, I think these are two separate things. I think these are two separate things. I'm with you on the Capitol. That's straight up. The Capitol is straight up murder, and he and he's not going to get any charges. And that's because those guys want to be protected, and they're happy with citizens being murdered trying to come onto their own property. I think in the case of Chauvin, um, I've said this already. I I don't have like I don't feel any emotional attachment to this thing. I feel that the verdict is probably the right verdict. But the pressure that was put on from the outside is is forever going to leave this, you know, have people on different sides being in doubt. But when you looked at what happened with Chauvin, there was something that went wrong there, right? And the jury, the, 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 the process, we've gone through the process here, right? He had his day in court. He got convicted. He could appeal it. All these things could happen. Lots of stuff could happen here. And maybe even the pressure that that uh, politicians are putting on this by trying to what was it maxine waters was trying to push people to go out there and protest more and get more violent and all riot, that kind of stuff riot, yeah riot. i the think protest, they should have i think they should have stayed out of this and then let this come to whatever it is and then this is what we this is what we call justice right hey the jury spoke yeah the jury spoke that's all i have to say about it mm-hmm. it's our system they heard. Okay. I didn't hear all the evidence. I heard mm-hmm. what the news gave me. Mm-hmm. I heard. I saw the video, but I didn't hear the medical examiner's reports and everything. They heard it and they convicted him across the board. That's how we roll in this country. Yeah, I know. Listen, Walter. I know you don't necessarily agree with it, and I think that's fine. I'm not mad at you or anything about that because it doesn't Okey really. Dokey. It doesn't. It doesn't Okey matter to me one way. It doesn't matter to me one way or the other. Like we have a system of justice in America, and we can't take the like we can't take the police officer and string him up because we think he's guilty. And at the same time, you know, it's quite possible that this police officer went too far in trying to subdue the this this person and and wind up causing his life. So this is how it goes. Okie dokie. This is how it goes. That doesn't mean that I agree with what's happening in America with people trying to defund the police. I think that's going to be one of the, the worst things that spreads across America. The worst well, virus, luckily, worse than COVID-19. Luck, luckily, our governor is smart enough in Florida, and they just did legislation to prevent all that defunding garbage. Mm-hmm. In this <laughs> so, um, and also, if, if you're out you know, minding your own business and they try to stop you in your car, you can run the f- over. So... Um, Mm-hmm. Have have a nice day, rioters. You know, I mean, come on. <laughs> um, so let me get this. Let me let me get this out there. So Boss Hog gave us five bucks. We gotta pull it for him. Yay! Okay. Uh, he says. Uh, he said, Boss Hog said meth heads definitely don't need a gun. No, nope, they don't. I had one try to fight for no reason. That's from Boss Hog. <laughs> no, they don't. And that's. Well, yeah. I I yeah, yeah. I every drug is not every drug is not the same. So. And, and I don't think I don't a, think marijuana should be a, a, affected by the drugs the same way. Sure, every, everyone's people, not affected by anything the same way. There Go are ahead. people they regardless, always they are, they, regardless of what you think or I think, and I've already stated, I think the marijuana mm-hmm. thing has gone on too long mm-hmm. until it changes. It's a law, and I'm yeah. I'm like kind of a law and order guy, mm-hmm. you know. I, right now, I'm slamming Jack Daniels. Guess what I'm not going to do? I'm not going to get in my car and drive down the road. Mm-hmm. Why? Because, 
law. <laughs> when they say it's okay to go drunk driving and act a fool, I'm going to go out and ride my car around drunk and act a fool and cut donuts and do all kinds of shit. But until then, yeah, it's illegal, and I'm fine yeah. with that. Yeah, and also, also, I just got to say, Vince, you don't want headline to read ATF agent drunk driving arrested. No, I do not. <laughs> you don't want that, or or retired retired ATF agent. I don't know. I don't know. You. I don't know if you want to be associated well, with the ATF let, uh, so much. Let me let me ask Vince. Dude, I am fine with being associated with ATF mm -hmm. as long as my First Amendment never goes away. Because I have been one of the biggest critics and I've been one of the biggest supporters, mm -hmm. depending on where you look in my career. Um, we've done enough to welcome public criticism mm -hmm. and we've lacked leadership for a bunch of years. And um, God willing, Dave Chipman will not be confirmed as our director. Yeah. Walt, go ahead and ask your question. Sorry. Back, uh, Vince, when you started with ATF, I mean, if there were agents that were doing things that were, let's say, immoral, did they get rid of them or did they just put them in some rural office someplace where nobody could see them? Do you um, mean you know immoral, they, immoral like they got caught in, uh, like, they, they got uh, caught uh, uh, in, in glory hole situations? Glory holes and stuff like that, <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's happened twice in recent times, twice in recent times, and those people have not been thrown out. They're still Walter, I love you so much for bringing this up. Well, it's 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 it, it, it's like it's like it's like it's like with the FBI, for example, the FBI. Growing up, you know, the FBI agent, like you know, the the exemplary example of law enforcement person. You That's know, true. Yeah, well trained. You know, uh, you know, not influenced by this or by that, but he's you know doing the law thing you know now not so much not so much you know and that's and people lose confidence in these agencies and so uh, fbi okay yeah great there are guys i'm sure they're doing what they're supposed to do but there's other mm -hmm. ones that are politically motivated and that's bad so yeah historically Good question, historically and i'm i'm just speaking from my experience that doesn't make it gospel historically when a boss or, or someone of influence screwed the pooch. They were put out to pasture. They might not have been fired. There might not have been appropriate consequences. But once they became well known as a, a train wreck, they were put out to somewhere where they couldn't do any harm. If that answers your question. Kind of. It kind of sounds like the Catholic Church. Yeah. Well, exactly. No, no. Hey, I'm not. I'm not defending that process because in my lawsuit and in my complaints, there were guys that were identified as having perjured themselves in U.S. District Court under oath, and the the judge on my case, when we settled, called me back and said, "Dude." I take no pride in saying this, but these guys are never going to be held accountable. So it's best you just take your settlement because it's the way of the government. And that broke my heart. Having been 30 years in the government, I was like, well, a U.S. magistrate judge is literally telling me that they have been proven to have violated the law and they're going to be put out to pasture or sent somewhere where they can't impact anybody or anything. I said, really? She's like, yeah. Yeah. Well, then it comes back to what I said. If the law doesn't apply to the law, the law keepers or whatever we or law enforcement or whatever you want to put it, then should it really even exist? If it doesn't apply to them, if 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 you if you break the law, if you do wrong things and then you just get put out to pasture and you still get you know, you still get promotions technically, you still get paid and all that kind of stuff. Is it any good? It's and not a perfect world. It's not a perfect world. It's not. No, it's not. And I don't want you to not comment on uh, the glory hole situation, Vince. 
Uh, Kathy, Kathy, Kathy Music Lover was asking, what's the glory I, hole? I, I, you pissed me off. <laughs> okay, let me tell you something about the glory hole. The brother mm-hmm. of the glory hole dude was the adjudicating official on my internal complaints and ruled against me at every turn. And I'm like, really, dude? Your brother is like going down to New Orleans and sticking his through a hole? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, again, it's a real world and we can only fight the fights we can fight. And no one's perfect. The people aren't perfect. Uh, the, you know, like, uh, what is it? Like the Judge Dredd movie guy said, I'm the law. The law is not perfect. Um, nothing's nothing's perfect here. So that's all you got to say on the glory hole situation. Maybe, maybe it'll get a splinter. I, can... <laughs> I keep forgetting to ask you whenever you come on. So I'm glad Walter brought it up now. That really pissed me off, though. Yeah. When that sucks, story yeah. hit. It, and I'm like. Really, let me get this straight. You're sitting in judgment of me. Right. Oh. Yeah, you just can't fan it's 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 you can't can't phantom it. It's one of those things you just go like I I can't I can't believe what I'm seeing or hearing. I just Exactly. Exactly. I was like, You have got to be kidding. And guess what? He got promoted. Yeah. Oh, imagine that. Yeah. Someone else must like that hey, glory. Yeah. Bill, Newell, yeah. Bill Newell, after Fast and Furious, went and he got demoted to a GS-13. Guess what? He had two years salary retention as a GS-15. Mm-hmm. So he went to a do-nothing job, made the same money he was making as a boss when he stood before Congress and said, we weren't walking guns. Yeah, you kind of were. No, those guys should be in jail. I'm sorry. Yeah, those, still, guys been, still those guys should have been. Part, there's, 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 they should be a thing called like. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.